Yo guys, welcome to another uh, really quick tutorial. So I posted a little bit ago that I had made um, a discovery. I figured out how to easily like swap skins inside of uh, Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine 4. Uh, and I had some people ask me like how I did it and I would explain it to them and I like explaining it to people so I thought I'd make a video about it. Um, or at least how I figured it out. <clears throat> so basically it's just like palette swaps or skins or costumes or whatever it could be used for something like that or it could also be used for like characters that have similar body types an example would be like in the monster hunter series there's quite a few monsters that share the same skeleton they just have different meshes and different animations depending on the monster um, so like for example like the Narga Kuga and the Tigerex share the same skeleton even though they're completely different monsters with different meshes and different animations so anyway I'm just gonna show you quickly uh, how I did it um, so I'm using 3ds Max because that's how I know how to do it I'm assuming you can do it in Mayan blender or whatever um, but yeah this is why I know how to do it so this is this tutorial is assuming that you have a couple things already. Uh, one, you need to have your character. Uh, hopefully you have a character. Two, you need to have their skeleton. So I have a I made a cat rig because I like how it has layers. It's pretty nice. So yeah, you don't need it to have them animated, but like I do. Oh, it's slow because I was working on stuff. So yeah, my skeleton is animated. Uh, I don't have all the animations, but it's animated to as much as I need right now. Uh, and three, you need the alternate skin. So I'm going to be <coughs> adding this uh, Liz skin to the uh, to Unreal. Its textures aren't final, so you know. I also, like the one that I showed was this, oh no, I'm going to do the Voodoo skin, I guess. No, I can do the Liz skin. I just got to make a clone of it. Yeah. So... Yeah, I showed off this um, Voodoo Vint skin a while ago. But yeah, anyway. So, to get started, I don't need this. So, when you make a skin, uh, basically I had the issue before where I'm like, oh man, I'm going to have to like re-rig everything. I'm going to have to make a new skeleton, have to make a new animations for everything. And I'm like, nah, you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do anything. It's super freaking simple. So, once you have, like, your alternate skin all modeled and everything, and you don't need it textured, but I'm pretty sure you'd want it textured. Um, basically, you take your defaults. Like, this is Rad's default model, so it's all animated, all skinned and everything. So you see I have the skin modifier here and all the envelopes and everything, and everything's all... I can't click on any of these. But, yeah, stuff is, like... Stuff's... It's, it's painted everything's good so what you can do is you can just copy this skin modifier and then go to your new your new uh, skin that doesn't have a or your new costume I'm gonna say costume just so I don't get it mis messed up and you can just paste your your skin modifier to it and you see like some things kind of screwed up here like the gem on his head um, his eyebrows are a little messed up um, some things are going to be painted differently, but like his fingers are the same as in the default. And so are his legs here. So they're going to have the same exact uh, weights painted on them. Um, I don't even know. Let's see. Oh, I'm like, please don't crash on me. So like if I go to these envelopes here and the fingers, see, they, they still have like the exact same weights as the default rad model did but you can see like here this new geometry like this is on floor floor l i think i meant to say foot not floor <laughs> but anyway like even the uh the sword over here had some weird stuff going on um but yeah like not not all of it is going to be exact like the eyebrows have sort of this kind of thing so you are going to need to go back and like um, make sure that the new meshes that you added to your character have the correct skin weight so that stuff isn't 
like weird but yeah if i like go into this um this cat rig here and i go to the animation and i turn on the run like see he'll run it doesn't look very pretty because obviously the skin weights are all messed up but he'll run so with using uh tv magic i'm gonna delete this real quick and open up the one that is uh fully rigged so this one is like completely rigged this one's finished so like as you can see everything is like working fine for the most part i think just his skirt there is a little messed up but his swords and his wings are fine the crown is fine or tiara is fine so like you can animate you can run it and he'll look great so now let's just jump into unreal real quick just so that you guys know what we're dealing with so say you have your default ca what is this oh they changed the icon so say you have like your default character and if you don't know how to do that, say you can go to like, um, I don't want sculpts. I need to reorganize. So say I have this rad A pose. This is, this rad A pose is like the most important thing that you do when you um, import your character for the first time. So it's when you want the mesh and all the bones. You don't want these things because those are just like little helpers or whatever for the feet. But you you want the mesh and all the bones. And that's what this rad A pose is. And that's these three things here. So it's gonna give me his A pose mesh, his skeletal mesh, um, a physics asset, cause I told it to, and then the skeleton. So what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna export the new skin and we're just gonna tell it to use this skeleton. So if we go back, we turn off bones cause we don't need it. And we go to Liz here. We can, we don't need to select the bones. Like if we select this mesh, it's already skinned to those bones. The bones are just invisible. So we can just select the mesh. And then if we go to export, export selected, um, let's say desktop, I'm not gonna save it because I already have a save. So we save it and then you do whatever stuff that you use. This is just what I use. I don't know if you need to use the convert deforming dummies to bones I don't know sometimes it helps things but we don't even need animation or anything um, so you just export that so you have your export of that skin <clears throat> so now if we go in import let's see here rad skins Liz so we have this rad underscore Liz underscore a which I made like forever ago as you could tell months ago so if I open this it's going to ask me it's not I need to select the skeletal mesh and then under skeleton I'm going to find that rad underscore a pose underscore skeleton. So this is the skeleton that I got from that default rad um, import that I did forever ago. You don't need to check other things. Sometimes you might need to. You don't need animation. If things come in a little wonky you can like play around with stuff until it works but this is what I'm using. Oh okay. I was hoping this wouldn't happen. I don't know what's going on. Oh crap, I just... What is this? It... Why did it just... I have no idea what it's, what it's doing. Hold on. <laughs> I really don't know what just happened. Actually, let me try exporting this again, just to make sure. Exports. Skins. Oh, it's here. Okay, I see. Never mind. I did I did the wrong one. That's just it. So it's not here. It's under like exports and then skins. Okay. So these are where my skin exports are. So I gotta move some stuff. Oh, okay, so this looks a lot better. So do rad underscore a pose underscore skeleton. Um skeletal mesh, import mesh. Yeah, you don't need don't need the animation. I don't need materials or textures. So you import this. Why? Why? Okay. Highlight. Okay. I, I don't know. It looks like it worked. I think it's just like whining about some stuff. So if I do like the body. Yeah, so I have the textures. Don't worry. The sword. Oh, that's not the sword. And then this is his eyes. He shares eyes. I probably won't save this. So we have this. This is the skeletal mesh. So this has the skin modifier on it. We didn't import another skeleton or anything. And if we go to skeleton, 
You see how it brings up the default rad because that's the one it's using. Okay, so I don't, I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> so this is this is great. So now if we go to our character blueprint here, the third person character blueprint. So this is like the default one. So if I hit like um, play in a new editor, okay, that's I broke something. I don't know what I broke. Did I break something in the animation? Blueprint? Probably. I probably did. I don't know. Animations. Animation blueprint. What's broken? Idle. I broke something. Probably. Anyway, um, let's go. Hmm. Yeah, this is weird. Everything just broke. Like these are supposed to be animations and they're not working. So actually, let me get out of this. Let me see if I can salvage this. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, cool background, am I right? My guy, Chris. Monster Hunter, am I right? That's another example. The Legai Chris in the uh, Agnactor share a skeleton. Bet you didn't know that. Okay, so now everything is fixed. Because I didn't save anything. So... If I go to the third person blueprint, okay, all this is deleted and I can play here. So yeah. So if we wanna change skeletons, I'm just gonna use H as a as our trigger to change our mesh. So now there is a node that's like, it's either set mesh, set skeletal mesh. Let's see if that one's it. I don't exactly remember. I deleted it. So we can set it to Liz, Rad Liz, how about that? So now when we're in engine and I hit H, it's gonna change my skeleton, or not my skeleton, it's gonna change my costume. So yeah. Um, and then if I do like a, let's do a flip flop here. So flip flop, copy this, I don't need this mesh. Um, and then, and then I go back to rad a pose which is the default skeletal mesh so now if I go and play here I'll make a big screen so now I can run around as normal rad perfectly fine and then I hit H and I go into the Liz costume you see using the same animations same app. there's only the two animations but it's still using the same ones I hit H again I go back to rad it's that simple um, I don't, I'm pretty sure there's probably a tutorial out there on how to do this, but I just need more content, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can like program it to like, where you could have like a skin menu when you pause or something or something like that. I don't know. It's just, I was having issues with this and people asked about it. So yeah, I did a tutorial. Woo. So yeah, you can add more skins too. I'll just do that real quick while I have the time. Uh, so if I do another flip flop for like B, A, I have other skins, but I'm not gonna show you guys besides the ones that I have. So now if I go and hit play, hit H, it's gonna like randomly pick one. Yeah, so there's the voodoo one. I see he's all rigged too. He's got like something with his leg, like it'll, yeah. His leg will like go up behind his head or something like that. I don't know, it's weird. So, yeah, that's how you change skins in Unreal. But yeah, you can do the same thing if you have like a character that has, uh, or two characters that use like the same skeleton. Like, I'm gonna have two characters coming up soon that are both like ducks, and they use the same base body, but their heads are just different shaped. So, what I'm gonna do is just have. Um, I'm gonna finish the one, I'm gonna rig it, and then I'm going to finish the other one, and then just copy the skin weights over, cause it's, the only difference is like the clothes and the head. And then I'll just use the same skeleton and make different animations for them, and it'll be good and dandy. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm hope I was hoping that my slushy would thaw by the time I did this, but it hasn't, it's still frozen. It, it sucks, so...
See ya.